Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 27th of October, Wednesday of the week of Pentecost 22, Isaac Watts, 1674-1748. The scripture itself was not given to us to make the use of our reason needless, but to assist its operations and to render it more successful in our inquiries into the things of our everlasting welfare. Knowledge and feeling should go hand in hand in all the affairs of the spiritual life. The more we know of God and the things of the higher world, the stronger spring we shall have for our holy emotions and the more secure our guard against any excesses and irregularities in the exercise of them. As it is the business of a preacher to assist the devout emotions, so it is also part of his job to guard his hearers against the abuse of them. We have granted and maintained that it is the business of every sacred orator to raise the affections of men toward the things of God. Let him therefore manage his divine arguments in such a manner as to awaken the fears, hopes, desires, penitent sorrows, and pious joys of the whole assembly in a sublime degree, but in order to secure them from excesses and irregularities of every kind, let him lay the foundations of their faith in clear idea of divine things and in a just and proper explication of the Holy Scriptures. And the prayer, Soren Kierkegaard, 1830, 1855. O Lord Jesus Christ, so permeate my thought that it could be seen that I am thinking of thee. And how would one see it? Would it be in my glance toward the heavens? That might also be seen that I was looking at stars or at visions or at chimeras. No, if thine example gave me such a conviction that though scorned and mocked, I proclaimed thy doctrine, then one would see in me, not in my glance, but in my daily life, that I was thinking of thee. And you, celestial powers, you who undergird the good, you heavenly hosts, help me raise my voice so that if possible, it may be heard throughout the whole world. I have only one word to say, but if the power were given me to say that single word, that single phrase in such a fashion, that it would remain fixed and unforgettable, my choice is made. I know what I would say. Our Lord Jesus Christ was nothing. Oh, remember this Christendom. Amen.